Welcome back. And I forgot to put this file that we created inside our includes folder. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to go file save. And let's go ahead and pull it into our, yep, that's the one, includes. And we will save it right in there with our connect, constants, footer, functions, and header. Looks good to me. Okay. Uh, all right. So since this is a functions file, we can just have one big opening and closing PHP tag. So I'll drop that down a little bit. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a function. And we're going to go ahead and call this function check required fields and we'll set the variable to required array and what we want to execute is our code that we had from I believe it was our edit underscore info page to the sun about right okay so where's our edit dot underscore info page we're going to strip a lot of code in these next couple videos. So where is my for each loop right here? Let's go, ahead, let's go ahead and grab this first one. And look at my braces. We'll close out right there. I can go ahead, push this off to the side. And I'm going to go ahead and did I steal the opening brace? I think I did. Let's go ahead and paste that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video, clean up the code. You guys are going to have no idea. I didn't do anything, so we have the exact same code right now. But what we need to do is we need to, we can use the same for loop. We can use um, this for, or this for each loop, I'm sorry. Temporary variable, we can test it with our, if it's not is set, field name. Or uh, if it's not empty and it is numeric, we can go ahead and run it. But we just need to change up these errors because unlike our or change up these variables because unlike our our query variables, these have to be different. So I'm gonna go and be very careful. And I'm gonna close that out. And I've got one opening brace, two opening brace, and required fields. This can't be that because we're already using this for our information subject. Let's go ahead and call this field errors and we don't need this delete this just keep our array open because we're going to collect our field errors and put them in there but we do need a closing tag right there for each can't use this one either we'll call this required array as field name that's fine if is set post field name or post is not an empty field name and is numeric, you could use is numeric or is integer to make a difference. It'd be the same thing. And let me look at my closing braces. I think I'm missing one. We got one, two. No, I've got one too many. One, two opening, three opening, one closing, two closing. Okay, now I'm going to pause the video. Excuse me. No, we're in good hands. We just need to go ahead and use our return statement. What do we call this variable? Field errors right here. This is what we're collecting. Field errors for our pages. And now we can go ahead and close out our closing brace right there. So with this function that we created right here, we could use this as a template to um, check max fields. Because remember back when we created our database, we set a max character length to, I think it was 30 characters. So you need to be really familiar with your database because if we set something to a max character of 30 or 40 and in PHP we're trying to input something in there that is 100 characters, that's going to start problems. So let's go ahead and create a function for that right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and grab, um, well, I'll just go ahead and type the function right here. And we'll go ahead and call this, I'm going to indent this one. Move that over just a tad. Up to the top. You can never do enough refactoring. Okay, we'll call this function check max field lengths and 
the variable that we're going to pass through our argument is we'll go ahead and call this field underscore length underscore array. And what we want to execute is now we can go ahead and steal this stuff up here. Let's go ahead and grab from here down to our all the way down. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pull this up a little bit. And yada 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 field errors that's okay for reach required nope oh. nope field length array as field name in this for each loop are we have a value. And I believe we called it max length, and it is set to 30 characters. Let me look at my notes, and yeah, max length. Okay, so let's look at this. This should check out if, no, 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 no. I grabbed the wrong function. I'm going to pause this edit underscore info dot php page which should be right here this is what we want to grab our string length and our trim remember this function that cuts out the white space this is what we're looking for let's go ahead and grab this all the way down here don't need that code and let's copy this and now we can go ahead and paste this in over our if statement right here there it is okay now we just got to clean this up because this looks like a nightmare first things first let's take that out okay we're in good shape so just understand what's going on here we're just going we're running um, a test right here to see if what we enter to our database is greater than our max field length and we're going to collect our errors now we just need to go ahead and return them so in order to do that we just got to use the return statement so easy peasy Japanesey errors right there whatever we whatever you decided to put right there. We'll close that out. And I just need one more closing brace. And uh, good to me, you guys. Okay, so uh, last thing I'm gonna do is just create a custom function to output our errors to let us know where we slipped up. So let's go ahead and call this function display errors. And again, there's no right or wrong with what you decide to call your functions as long as you can remember it. And let's go ahead and execute, drop that down a little bit. And again, I don't have any CSS for this, but in the event that I am so disgusted with how it looks, I can go ahead and plug that in later. And let's go ahead and just give it class equals, anytime you have CSS embedded into PHP, we have to do the backspace. And I imagine we'll just call this error or errors. So I don't think we have a CSS class for that yet. And let's now let's type out some text. What we want to echo if there is a slip up. We'll just say uh, whatever you guys want. Review the following fields. I'm gonna give it a break tag. Again, you can use a break tag like that or that. It's two in the morning. Just do the break tag. And we will, uh, for each loop, let's get our temporary variable out. And we'll call this air array. That's what it is up there. Yeah, okay. Air array as air for our temporary variable. And this should all be looking familiar because we've already done all of this. Let's bring this up a little bit. Where's my closing? PHP tag. I'm getting a little insecure about it. There it is. For each uh, error underscore array as error. Okay, and we'll just go ahead and echo the same thing we did with how we did our menu item. We could do either a, like a hyphen or an asterisk. I prefer the asterisk. And I'll just concatenate our PHP with our uh, paragraph text that's going to output into our HTML. And we'll do one more BR tag. 
And that looks good. I threw a lot at you guys in this video, but we've already done all this. You guys have known what we've done before because this is how we created our information to collect errors. So good luck with this, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and I promise it will not be as hard.